Hello team. Today we are going to discuss the topic called web services and then we go into its key components and we will discuss all the things using our tool called SOAP UI. So let's first go ahead and talk about what is basically a web services. As the name indicates, it's basically an end service provided over a web. So it's like if we go to the definition part, it says it's a technology or a way of transmitting any information over the internet. So the idea is any information which is getting transmitted over an internet, we will use in web services. And it allows us basically to use our programmatic access to our information. So it's like, like we have a lim uh, limited or we have a, uh, access to, we have focused access to that information. And what we use to access that information, we use our standard internet protocols like uh, IP, TCP, or what we call HTTP protocols. So that's just a rough idea. Basically, what's in web services? If we go into that, it's basically service provided over an uh, internet which help us in transmitting data or information so if we go uh, into an exemplary part suppose I have a one application which is uh, I suppose I have just weather application I want to use that weather application on my website and my website which is where I suppose it's built on a platform of .NET platform and it's hosted in Windows environment so but the service like which the weather application that's what i want to access that's built in a different platform suppose it's on in java and it's a server is deployed on linux so how, the, how my website will interact with that weather application which is on different platform different environment different server and so the, here comes the concept of web services so web service which will help me to interpret two applications which are on different environment built on different platform and it's basically working as a client server methodology so let's have an example of that i have an application which is uh, application a it's like a client it's like i suppose it's my website uh, and then just calling an application which is b which is on it uh, it's like my server which is accessing which which have my weather application so like my application is built on a different platform it's like uh, deployed on a different platform using different languages and similar is my application that i want to access so all the communication will happen between two, two between these two things so the communication will happen using our internet so that's all my application will give in a call and it will access the services provided by my application so that's all so it's like a request is sent by my application and response is received by my application. So why this this is happening? Because my application B is acting as a service which is um, we are accessing in our application A using our internet protocol or we call it as like web services is being consumed on my application A. So it's giving me interoperability. So it's like language independent, platform independent. So that's how we basically use our web services and that's what is the definition of web services. So now let's go ahead and discuss what are the key components of a web service is. So first and foremost is a SOAP. So what we call it, it's like a name indicates a simple object access protocol. So protocol in the sense is a way of communication how the basically my request was sent to my application B, A and how it was uh, by my application A to application B and how it is getting received. So it's a, being the communication happening between my two application and how like it basically tell me what is the format of that request and response model that was the, how the communication was happening and how it uses it. It basically uses our HTTP protocol for transmitting that information. So what is basically in a SOAP? SOAP is, like the way the whole the, uh, web service request response model is uh, working and what it basically uses is it uses our xml so just try to remember that our web services the base of each and everything is xml like extensible markable language so that's what it is basically providing me uh, language inter uh, independence is provided by this xml we will discuss this in our future tutorials how we, we are going to work with the xml 
what are the uh, components of XML are, or how the tree like hierarchy are, how we define our nodes. So let's go ahead with uh, our next part. What's the next component? This is called WSDL, what we call it wisdom. So that what full form it says that it's a web services description language as the name indicates. So basically it is giving me description of my web services is like where is my web service located what all the operations are we can access it what are the port type bindings so each and everything will be given my my visual so again my visual will be in the form of xml like it will be containing tags so that was regarding my visual so next one thing is utdi so basically it's a universal description descript, uh, discovery and integration as the name indicate it provides me in a methodology to register my uh, web services like i have created any web services i want other people to access that i'll register using uddi and in case i want to use any web services i want to search that web services i'll i'll go to uddi so basically we can say it is like a telephone directory for any web services so just a brief summary of each and everything so we need a basically xml extensible market language so so is basically giving a format how we are going to work with the request response model how we are going to access that web services and visual provides me a description of that web, web services and where to i am going to search that web service where i want to register that web services i'll go to uddi so just a brief flow of that of the key components we have uday well uh, we will search um, our web service over there then we have uh, we will see the visual part of that all my location everything all the my visual and my web service need to be consumed then my client will make a call we will use soap uh, uh, protocol method and the service will respond and what we are getting the result and that's what we are getting displayed so that's what we are commonly uh, using in our day to day things like most of the website like suppose i have a stock plan applica application so i want to access the live uh, values of that any stock so what i'll use i'll consume that web services on my website so rather than uh, creating my own database and each and everything i'll just leave, just simply call that uh, web services and i'll get the response out of that and that will be published on my website so uh, going to our that was like just a flow thing so let me go to my web service part so this is a simple web service that i have created that's not published anywhere so what are the functions it contain it contain one get page get time functions hello world so these are the like uh interface of my web service now what and first and the foremost thing i need regarding this web service is i want to understand how that web services is basically the structure of that web service so this is how my visual will be look like so it is giving my description to that web services it is having my key components each and everything is in the form of xml it's giving me a definition what are the types of schema so we are not going through the details of that so just uh, this was a view of that how my visual will look like so let me copy that uh, visual part so now I'll consume that visual in my SOAP UI. So that's a UI in my SOAP UI. I'll create my new project into that. Go to new SOAP UI project. Let me give any name of that uh, demo. So I'll paste that visual part here and I'll click. I'll go for the default settings. I'll click OK. So it has given me what? It has given me what are the methods that were available in my web services so uh let me go to in case i want to access that i want to send my request so this is what this is my soap request that will be sent to that web services so it, it is giving me get date time so what all the fee i, I want to access the, from that suppose i want to uh, work with the get age method so i'll go into that request let me click over there so see it has given me that so uh, xml in the form of an xml so what uh, now i need to pass and parameter so it's like input parameter that i need to pass uh, let me give any year so i'm giving any year basically this function calculate uh, the age of a person based on the years and the months so let me give any second zero eight as a month and date as 12 so now i'm going to send an request to that web services using your so protocol so i'm running that so that's what i got a response from my web services it has given me that you are two years old so that's how our request response model works basically so this was the request that i sent 
and this is what uh, uh, I got a response out of that so that was how my flow of a web service is like this was the SOAP protocol we used and each and everything is in the form of an XML so uh, let me come back to our presentation part so that was our key component so we work with a web services that I have shown you using our SOAP UI tool so basically this tool is used for the our web services testing so just a brief summary so what some web service any services which is there on a web and we are accessing that service using our, our internet and it give me interpretability and this web service is uh, built on a uh, uh, different platform different uh, uh, language and we are giving uh, giving access and we are working on a different platform and it's giving the key between the two applications hosted on a different environments and built on different application and what are the key components this UDDI give me what where I want to uh, I want to publish my uh, web service I want to search for that and XML is a language we use for which provide give me language uh, uh, independency and so is a protocol of, of request response model and visitor will give me description on that so just in a layman terms if we uh, uh, want to explain a web services basically in case we have any function any method so that is our web services what are the input and output parameters what's the definition of that uh, so what's the name of that so that's basically our visitor so how we are going to access that uh, so that's our uh, soap way of doing is in case i've saved that function anywhere and it's like people can search that function so it's basically my uddi and this is xml is a way uh, each and every it's providing me independency part so that was a, just a basic tutorial regarding our web services and its key components so what we discussed we discussed about some web services what are the key components it has so thanks a lot for uh, watching this video in case you want more help on our uh, on testing front just please visit our website www.uftihelp.com or do like our facebook page uh, or follow us on twitter you can also subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates and videos thanks a lot again for watching the video thanks bye